Hey guys, what's going on? It's I touch stuff here that's spelled with a zero, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Wii Remote with GPS Phone, a very popular Game Boy Advance ROM emulator for the iPhone. And uh, this here iPhone is running iOS 5, it's a 4S. I'll show you real quick, and uh, I think you guys will like this video a lot. 5.0.1 9A406. So, you're going to need to be jailbroken. Uh, you can do that pretty easily by looking it up on Google. And uh, once you're jailbroken, you'll need to go into Cydia for this. And of course, you're going to need to get GPS phone and the ROMs of your choice. I can't show you how to get that. Um, that's out of my reach. But I can show you how to use the Wii Remote with it. So uh, after this loads and everything, we can go over here to the search button. We want to search for BT, and then if you just see right here, scroll down a little bit, it'll give you a bunch of different things. And we want BT Stack. Uh, it's free. So all you have to do in the right-hand corner, it should say um, Install. So you click there, and then you'll install it. And once that's all done, we can head back over here. And to configure this, first we need to go into Settings, uh, go back. And after you have BT Stack installed, there should be something down here that says BT Stack. It should be on iOS or on none. Uh, and if it is on either of those, just click BT Stack. And uh, then it should be on none again. And then BT Stack. Now we can quit out of settings. That just basically switches the Bluetooth uh, for a custom Bluetooth. And then over here uh, on your GPS phone, you want to open that up. Because before we can do anything, we have to go and turn Wiimote support on. So, and after that, you want to quit out, uh, quit out of those apps. And then we'll relaunch GPS phone, and I'll go get my Wii Remote and show you how to do it. Alright, so once you have your Wiimote handy, all you gotta do, open back up the GPS phone. It's gonna search for devices. It says to press the 1 and 2 buttons to make sure that your Wiimote is uh, searchable and it's going to search here you'll see two things pop up which is the Wiimote it should connect automatically and you'll see it says the little player one icon down there and then you can choose from one of your ROMs so I'm going to go ahead and boot up Mario Kart Super Circuit a great game I used to play it all the time on my Game Boy and I'll just flip over here play no sound it's probably some sort of copyright on the sound anyway so uh, if you guys can see that well um, I don't know if you really can uh, but let's go. Hopefully that's in focus. Uh, you use the two button for the A. Plus is start. Um, so I'm not touching it at all. Two. There you go. Uh, we'll play some 100cc. My favorite character is Luigi, of course. We'll use him. Click A again. And we'll do, uh... Yeah, let's do some Star Cup. It's a good cup. And here we go. Snowland. Ah, I got off to a bad start. But it's alright. There's no support yet here for uh, using the actual Wii Remote, like turning it as you would in the other Mario Kart game. Wow, it's really hard to play when looking through a little camera screen. <laughs> I guess it's not that good of an excuse, but you use the D-pad over here, and it also works for other games, uh, such as Pokemon, I guess, if you want to. I know that the on-screen, um, like, sort of controls really do, uh, are, are really terrible, so Wii Remote always helps, especially for a game like this, and the back B button is to use the little item that you get. So, that is how to use the Wii Remote with GPS phone on a jailbroken iPhone, iPod Touch, um, and uh, on iOS 5. So guys, it's been iTouch stuff here that's spelled with a zero. I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you like this one. You stick around on my channel. Hit the subscribe button if uh, you really like this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.